this is how we do it in our return demonstrations, mga anak. We always start with a bow. And this is what we have discussed in our Google Meet. You can make use of, or you can be barefoot, or you can also be using rubber shoes as your footwear. Okay, so you have you have to protect your feet. Now the first one is for you to have chug in place. Okay, you start slow. Follow the sequence from left to right. And then you can make it a little faster. Okay? And then you can make it higher if you want. And next one is the jump twist. So this is very important as well for your warm up. We needed our warm up before we do our actual ac uh, activities or our exercise proper. Okay? So, uh, you bend your neck to the other side also. It's very important. Bend forward and then backward. And then, of course, do not forget to shake your hands, your fingers to let the blood flow and then you do some strokes forward it's likened to dry swimming you are doing the front stroke no then back stroke so that is for your shoulders okay so you have to let your blood flow and another shake this time, your back, it's very important to prepare your arms, your back, and your whole body before the actual return demonstration. Then, of course, congratulate yourself by tapping your shoulders. Okay? And then another shake is actually uh, helping you with the, uh, more blood flow. So this time, leg lift, okay? And then you let it meet with your right or left arm. So when you started with your right, you make use of your uh, left arm. This time, your left leg with your right arm, okay? So you're also helping the upper back and then the left lower extremities this is very important children students okay and also shake 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 again do not forget to let the blood flow always okay so this is what we call twisting with a cross job it's very important for the hips, for the arms, okay? And observe, you observe, mga anak, children, that I am not giving power yet because this is warm-up. You do that in the proper, okay? Or in the return demonstration. So, uh, not so much with power, maybe 10% will do, okay? And so you try all different uh, uh, directions for your uh, punch, the 10% punch. Also, we have here the in and out. Okay, uh, usually all martial arts make use of this uh, to uh, loosen the legs, the hips. Do it on the other side, usually for right-handed or uh, right-footed, you do more on the left, on the left side or the left leg or the left hand. So, uh, 
every after activities or every af uh, after an execution, you try to shake or you tap or massage. Okay? So next would be our stance. It's very important no, that the, the back leg is stretched while the front leg is bent okay so this is how we do that the shifting you take note that the heels okay are lifted when you are turning so that you will not be hurting your ankles it's very important lift your heels although not so much so that it will not be uh, that obvious okay there you try it faster after you have practiced okay and also you have to check your balance always lift your heels and then we do the kibadatsi or the horse back stance now again 10% punches Okay, we are working on the arms, upper extremities, and also the hips. And we are training for stability. Okay, so uh, lower if you can because you're still young. So try to do it uh, once or two, two punches in a count. There you go. So uh, you see the demonstration of your mudra. Okay, or your mother or your teacher or professor. Okay, there you go. To side, this is very important also. So try to stabilize. Then always shake every after some execution. So uh, we will be having some combinations of basic kicks no we will not do much with the stances yet so look at that you kick one right and left and then punch punch right and left okay so you can do it 10 times so it's still part of the warm-up mga anak you observe that I have lifted my knees first as high as I can all right because if you're not let not lift your legs your kicks will be lower and of course mostly these are the common mistake that the the practitioners do they do this immediately at first but we should do this later just like this one after some exercises that's the time that you are going to bend your legs okay do not do this when it is your first uh, three executions okay so uh, for me I have observed that uh, and I have experienced that uh, you are hurting more your knees if you do it on the first part of your warm-up so be sure that you already have uh, some warm-ups before or warm-up execution before you will be doing this especially for older people if they do this in the first part of the warm-up exercises it would be very painful okay the knees would be very painful and you have to take note also children students that uh, for people or students that are having uh, bigger body build you have to uh, take care of your ankles okay so you do that you do this on the later part of the warm-up and then you can continue once again and then try to let the blood flow again next let's start with the forward stance so this is how it's supposed to be seen the front leg once again is bent and the back or the rear leg is uh, stretched 
and maintain your height. Now I am going to demonstrate it side so that uh, sideways so that you can see the difference. Okay? Always try that also. There you go. The front leg is bent and the back or the rear leg is stretched. Yeah, and back erect. So you have to take note of that. Now maintain your height. You continue that for how many counts? Okay, this one is mostly on uh, some uh, routines already, especially when we are having our self-defense uh, drills. Okay. So that is the most important thing. We are not doing cha-cha-cha here, no? It just seems like cha-cha-cha dance because of the steps. But when you are going to do it with a swift action or you do it faster, that is how it looks like. So that you will not look as if you are jumping. We call this shuffle. Okay, so double step. You look at that. So step and punch there. And step. Okay, back fist. And another back fist. Okay, you can also add some other uh, punches. Okay, with that while you're doing the warm up. The next one is on the cross step. Okay, this is usually done for kicks. All right, but since we are doing the warm up, we will not be doing the kicks yet, okay? Especially so, I'm very sure that you are not yet or you were not able to watch the kicks yet, okay? So change faces. Do not forget to guard, to be on guard, okay? You have to protect your face. You have to protect your chest, especially for ladies, okay? So there you go. Do not forget to bow. So beginning until the end is to bow. So thank you very much, my motivators and my super chatters. Okay, you know yourselves and you're there. I love you and I thank you very much. And of course, to my team fire. The team is so good. The Cordillera support team. the organic team so uh, thank you very much and thank you for watching bye bye woot woot